your media library. Now this is a topic that I constantly get asked about by my parents and friends and other people randomly when they hear I'm in IT so I thought I'd make a quick quick nice and simple course about it. Um, we will be discussing a few things and the first thing I want to discuss is copyright. Okay, This is not a way for you to pirate DVDs that you hire from the store or borrow from people and put on the net. That's not what I'm condoning here. What I'm actually teaching you to do is to digitize your entire media library and it's really cool. We all hate the clutter on our shelves. We all hate having DVDs taking up countless walls of our house or boxes in your garage or places that you just need this space. So what we can do now is you can take your DVDs, pop them in your computer and rip them to a file, to an MP4 file. And you can then put this on your home server or your desktop or any, anywhere on your computer, it doesn't matter. Um, I've got a little home server at the back there that I put all my DVDs on, all my TV shows, and it allows me to then view those DVDs or those movies and TV shows wherever I want in the house. I can also copy them to my phone, to my laptop, to my iPad, my iPhone, whatever I want, Android, and then view those wherever the heck I want. And that's what I'm trying to, what I want to teach you with this course. Additionally, there is a section on music. Again, copyright. I'm not teaching you to distribute this. This is all for your own personal use. You can then rip the music to your computer and pop it on your iPad, on your iPhone, your Android, wherever you want, and stream it around the house. Okay, and this is for people. This is not for people who are using iTunes because that's that's fine. I mean, you downloaded your files anyway. This is for people who have lots and lots of CDs and this is a question that came from my parents they have a giant CD collection and they wanted to know how to get it on the computer so they could play it around the house and on their iPod so I'm going to show you how to do that and that's pretty much the course it's going to be quick and simple uh, not too much detail just exactly what you need to know to get the files on your computer and done in a proper way that you've got the quality so Click next and join in on the course and I really hope you enjoy it. Feel free to ask any questions and see how you go.